Welcome back to day two of the National Digital Forum for this year. Uh, we're very, very, very happy to have you back. Uh, good to see that you're all in full voice and kind of chatting away as well. I see the family's in full swing. Um, so we just want to sort of start the day off by saying a few thank yous. Those of you who were here last night uh, for the networking drinks uh, seem to enjoy that quite a lot. So thanks for hanging around and a big thanks to Internet New Zealand for sponsoring those for us again. Um, just a few housekeeping things to cover off. You know, that really kind of good, important stuff. Uh, if anybody, uh, we hear a fire alarm going or there's an evacuation necessary, it's not going to happen, but if it does, we have many, many, many lovely people from here at Tapapa who are going to help us escort out uh, calmly and quietly uh, as we get ourselves out of the building. Those of you a little bit worried who were here last year after the earthquakes, we just kind of remind you this building's about as safe as it can possibly get for earthquakes, so you're pretty sound. But in the event that we have to evacuate, please feel free to just follow our uh, to Papa colleagues and as we get escorted out. Um, just a reminder, the building's no smoking, so if you do need to kind of nip out and have a quick break, um, just get yourselves outside of the building and off the sort of premises. You'll have spotted those of you who've been around for the last day or two that there are toilets everywhere, but the nearest are just outside and there's some up on the way up to Oceania where we serve our food and drinks as well. On the topic of food and drinks, uh, just be aware that because this is a museum with lots and lots of cool things in it in the gallery spaces, food's not to be taken outside of Oceania after the breaks themselves. Um, and I think to be honest with you, you'll enjoy it a lot more up there than wandering through the museum with it. Um, there is a special table up there in Oceania for anybody with special dietary requirements, so feel free to keep an eye out for that one. And those of you who aren't quite so special, there's plenty of the other stuff as well. Uh, anybody who's car parking here today, up by the registration desk in Oceania, uh, there's a little gadget that does some funky clipping of your car parking ticket to help you get a bit of a discount for the day. So feel free to go up there during the day and get that validated. Uh, Wi-Fi, look at that, timing, look at that. Um, <laughs> is there and up on the screen. So feel free to kind of log in and use and abuse the Wi-Fi all day, you know, because we want the engagement. Those of you who've been following on the Twitter channel for the last day or so will see that it's a pretty active involvement. So feel free to get involved and put your voice out there. Uh, coats and bags that you've less of in Oceania, uh, I believe will end up coming down here at the end of the day, miraculously. The little museum fairies will sort of bring those down seamlessly for you. So don't worry too much about those. Um, I think that's our housekeeping. So there's a, other, uh, a few other things that we would just wanted to run through. I suppose the main one of those is to thank our sponsors, because this conference wouldn't happen each year without the support of who our sponsors are. So our Kari sponsors, which are the National Library of New Zealand, the Ministry of Culture and Heritage, uh, Te Papa Tonga Rewa, and let's face it, they give us an epic place to have the conference in, so big thanks to them, and Auckland War Memorial Museum, your support to the organization NDF and to how this conference happens is like speaks no bounds. Without it, we wouldn't be doing all the cool things that we're doing. So thank you very, very much to you guys. Uh, and our other sponsors, uh, Storybox, Internet NZ, Museums RTRO and the DAFs. So if we'd just like to give these guys a big Now, I know there's been a little bit of uh, chat over the last sort of 24, 48 hours or so as everybody's been coming in about the Leaders Sector panel, which is happening just after lunch today. Uh, I'm quite excited about that, actually. Um, but what we want to try and encourage is that everybody here gets involved with those questions that you could be fielding to the panel. So I think we're just going to share who the actual panelists are. So from the National Library of New Zealand, we've got Rachel Essen joining us. Uh, from Natanga, we've got Rebecca Elvey. From Tapapa, we have Melissa Firth. Uh, from Archives New Zealand, we have Tony Moss coming to join us. Uh, from Ministry of Culture and Heritage, we have Heather Baggett. And from Auckland War Memorial Museum, we have David Gamester. Now, those of you who will know those names will know that's a pretty cool lineup of people to have up here on stage. And what we're looking for is your questions. So if you want to hit the uh, Twitter hashtag that we've got to set aside for these, get these questions into us before one o'clock. And that Twitter handle is NDFNZ Leaders with a capital L. So tweet away, fire your questions in. And for those of you who aren't on the, uh, on the devices, we can also drop those off at the NDF board stand uh, up in Oceania as well. Um, the NDF awards, keep voting away. 
because you're doing a really good job at that. Keep going for them. I will politely point out, though, as we've had uh, a couple of nominations in for the most inspiring talk, that it's probably not best to uh, pick one of our own keynotes. We kind of already know that they're really, really awesome. So we want those kind of awards to be fielded out to some of our non-keynote speakers. So have that on your thinking cap as you get in there. But please feel free to keep voting in those awards. Um, we've also got the NDF board stand, and they're continuing to ask that question, uh, what do you want from NDF? So go and grab those post-its, stick them up on the whiteboard that's there at the stand, get yourself involved. NDF is for you. It's not just the team. You kind of come and stand up here and do the talking. So it's all about you and what you want moving forward. Uh, very slight change to the Pocket program. Uh, it's up to date in the Shed app online, but the Pocket program does show that we have Sarah Gallagher's talk on at 2.45 in Soundings this afternoon. Unfortunately, she's not going to be here with us, so we've left that little spot vacant. So feel free to jump in one of the other stream sessions that's happening at that time. Uh, and during the uh, events, you'll see that people are kind of running around with microphones. So if you actually want to sit and ask questions when we get the question time, please feel free to uh, just kind of wait for our guys to kind of run down with the microphones so that those who are recording on the video actually get to hear what those questions are, OK? Um, I think that's probably about us, which means that we're going to get to on to our first talk for the day. I'm quite excited about this, actually. I was fortunate enough at the start of the week to just have a bit of a chat with uh, two of the speakers who are about to come up on stage. And I felt insanely kind of like tingly and like really, really sort of inspired by the kind of chat that we had. So I'm not going to ruin the sort of topic because I know you've probably had a little bit of a preview in your app and kind of tried to see what's coming up. But I'm quite excited that the way that we're going to sort of hear these stories told and what we're going to get over uh, is going to be quite inspirational for you. So without further ado, I'd like to ask uh, Claire Hall, Honiana Love and Ariana Tikau to come up on stage. Uh, they're here sponsored by the National Library of New Zealand. So a big warm welcome to them today.